Can you feel the excitement? Today is the day we put that RV on the ferry and head to Newfoundland. I'm so excited, let's go. So we're gonna be over there for three weeks. So get ready to have your eyes popping out of your head <laughs> at the views because they are coming. Mine are already popping. Actually, all of the views on our way <laughs> up here to this point have been amazing. Canada is really a lot of trees, a lot of green, mm -hmm. cool weather. Gotta love it. Make sure you stick around to the end because we're gonna tell you how to save money on your ferry and how to choose the right port to pop in. Best is yet to come. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you ready or not? Ready or not? Are you ready or not? The best is yet to go. Let's see what our cabin looks like. Are you ready or not? Ready Boom, look at that. Room with a view. There you go. We are on the bow of the ship. Let's look. You can see them. They're close enough to the top, top deck. Oh, yeah. Everybody's this on board. This will be a great like. view. Yeah. We have elected to choose a cabin. I thought that would allow me to be in here with a little quiet, get some work done. If Phil wanted a nap, he could easily stretch out on oh, the that's, bed. Oh, that's going to happen. And take a nap. We're on board for at least seven hours, possibly eight, depending yep. on the weather and how choppy it is out there. So... This is pretty nice, and I love that I can sit here and watch us pull away from the pier Yeah. right through the window. Let's check out the bathroom. So we get our own bathroom, too, so yeah, we don't have to shower. share. And you feel like taking a shower? Yeah, I think I'm good. So <laughs> it's pretty roomy for a ferry, I think. This is definitely spacious. Look here. <laughs> Blow dryer at the ready. I think I've showered for today, so yeah. I think I'm good. Motion sickness bags. I like it. All right. I'm very excited. Let's go tour the ship. You want to walk around? Yeah, let's go tour it. Right, let's we'll you want to come with us? Let's go. Let's go. There are plenty of areas to hang out on while the ship, or I should say ship, ferry, whatever you want to call it, is underway. So right now we're going to go topside and watch us leave from the docks. Give me, give me that We were just on deck 10, which is the viewing area or sitting area, and my hair's all crazy from the wind. Yeah, the sun deck was hot up there, but it was good viewing as we pulled out, and the sister ship is coming in to offload and pick up for tonight's sail across. So let's go on deck 9 and see what they have to offer there. We can't take you in here because we didn't reserve seats, but if you don't want to reserve a cabin, you can also reserve a seat, and this will guarantee you a comfy spot for the next eight hours, seven hours. It also has outlets for like USB to charge your phone and all that stuff. So they look pretty comfy. Looks like somebody's already catching a nap back there. <laughs> yeah, and they're, right now everybody's watching the safety video, which we should be watching as well. Or we can read the pamphlet. That's true, we can read the pamphlet. <laughs> also here, there is a cafe here. So you see the drinks and I'm not sure if and when they open, but it looks like they have ice cream. I don't think they're quite set up. They have linen in there. So yeah, I'm yeah. not sure if this one's going to set up. It's ice cream, cones, and coffee. Yeah, I think it might be down on deck seven. Just testing out the chairs. Pretty comfy. I could nap here. This deck, which is deck eight, eight, also provides chairs and plenty of seating, although these are not reserved, so they're first come, first served. Yeah. It also has the first set of cabins. You can see down this hallway, cabins are on this deck as well. I think deck seven is going to end up being Phil's favorite deck because I hear there's pizza and other goodies. The mother load. I'm dark, but that's because look at our bow. We get a window seat and a nice little seat. Yeah. We have been lucky enough to get a behind the scenes tour of the bridge thanks to our friend Michael, who is also prior Kent Canadian Navy and he's also a master mariner. This is my bow thruster controls. Okay. That's my two biggest bow thrusters. This one here is just another small thruster. And I controls all my speed and everything from tele these two little telegraphs there. And the steering is done from there. But when I'm going in Port of Bass, I don't have docking after I makes my swing so far. 
a split spoke workers because we have bigger rudders on. Okay. So it acts like a stern thruster for me. Gotcha. Because we don't have a stern thruster, right? Gotcha. So that takes the place of the old port and starboard having to go back and forth on the controls. Yeah. So oh, you yeah, can see right up to the pier. Yeah. So that's what happens like this is really long in here. Oh. That piece of white steel that's sticking out down there. Oh yeah. I line that up with a mark on the back. Okay. In North Sydney, right? That shows we're doing that I'm in position. Fully offload if we got, if we're fully loaded with deck one, two and three uh, deck one, three and five. Uh, 45 minutes maybe. Wow. That's pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. It is fast because we're we're on deck three. Yeah. Um, oh, you'll be off very quick. So they, do they go by deck or, I know we came in the bottom yeah. ramp. Five and three is offload at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, one of them will be the last one because they got to rise off that ramp and gotcha. once deck three is offloaded, they can rise off that ramp and then the carrier says down below can drive up. Oh, okay. So there's one that below us. Yeah, yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Okay. Nice. A lot of people call it down in the hole. Down in the hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can well, see I was, that. And not many like to go down there. <laughs> me, I bet. I was on um, a few uh, amphibious uh, assault ships. They had the well deck so they could battle us down. Yeah. And a lot of people didn't like going down there either. No. It was wet and muddy yeah. and damp. Um, it's, it's not bad in there. It's just that they know yeah. when they get to where they're going to the other side <laughs> that they're going to be last to get off. Yeah. So then all the crew on board, they have cabins on board or? Yeah. Okay. So when you're when they're in the done their downtime they they can go hit well, the racket. If cabin. they're not working, they can hit the racket. They can go to work. Take a rest. Like I, I live I live only ten minutes away from where a dock and ferry in Port of S. Oh, okay. I only live ten minutes away from it. So like whenever I want to dodge home, like quick trip, dodge home. <laughs> it looks like we are pulling into port. Yes. All right, they're making the announcement. We get to go down to our car. It's going to be a madhouse. Somebody's puppy's gonna be happy to see them. Hey, that looks like ours. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, I'm going Everything looks good. You can see we're we're packed in here. So there's quite a few RVers that are walking around doing the same thing. They're just checking everything, making sure everything's good. Ah, look here. You that little guy. Just just happy. People are coming back, so I think we're good. Although people can't walk by here because our our steps are out. They were probably out the whole time. We probably should have put those up. I'm gonna have Stacy just hit the brakes. Make sure we're connected and everything's tight. Yep, we're all good. We've made it back to the ferry after three weeks in Newfoundland and we're getting ready to board again. So we thought we'd go over a few things you need to know before you come to the ferry. First of all, your arrival time. You should be here between two and four hours before your ferry is um, time to set sail. Yeah, and on the way over there was a huge line. So it was highly recommended. Um, we were there at least three hours early and going back there's nobody here. So, I mean, we're here at, you know, a two and a half earlier. hours yeah. early for the boarding time, um, but you just never know. So plan accordingly. Also, when you sign up for the ferry, you do have to say the length of your vehicle, whether you're driving a car or an RV or a truck. And don't fudge that thinking you're going to save a few bucks because they will measure the length of your vehicle, whether it's an RV and a tow car, and you will be charged the extra that you left off. Yeah, uh, luckily for us, we were within the same price range. We said we were 55 feet. They measured us at 57. And as Stacy was saying that, I just noticed the fence line is their measuring tape. So they can look at that and tell how many feet they are. They're a little fancier over here. Yeah, they they, they had the guys it. with the wheels walking it at the Nova Scotia side. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Do you have your booking number there, sir? Yes, ma'am. It is 411-3672. I guess I should use my glasses to read it. Okay, Farley? Yes, ma'am. Do you have a piece of photo ID for one of you? What about propane tanks? Do you have any tanks? 
Yeah. We do, and it's off. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And this too, people? Yes, ma'am. No pets awarded there? No, ma'am. Okay. Are you guys part of a caravan, or are you just on your own? No, we're, we're by ourselves. Okay. Oh, you and you measured us. She measured just a bit. Fifty-seven. She walked back and looked at the line. Okay. So your cabin keys are in your folder here. Okay. Just stop in the next booth on the parking lot. They're going to tell you which lane. Okay. All right. There you go. I think I got it all. Have a good day. Thank, you. Thank you. We have our room keys. We have our pass to get on, and we have the tag out for our propane. They take propane very seriously here at the last port we actually had to sign a document saying that our propane was off and he said if they found it on there would be consequences although he never said what the consequences would be and and i found it funny that he didn't go to the tank to verify he just took our word well he did say that they do spot checks on the ferry so he did say they go around and do that so i'm not sure what that is all right, I guess they're all a little different. Is yeah. she stopping us here? Yeah. Yep. Sure. Did you have any Do we no. have any of that? We have cabbage. That's that's pretty much it. No, we just have cabbage. Okay. Um, did you have any plants? No. Okay. No. Thank you. Good morning. Good. It is. Yep. Twelve. Okay. Thank you. One of the ways they keep traffic moving and actually load the ferry pretty quickly is actually loading two levels at the same time. The cars are up above, and from what I can see, most of the big rigs, the RVs, the big trucks are down here below. These are the days. us in here like sardines don't they they do a pretty good job we're grabbing everything we need including our computer or water whatever you need our tickets did you get our room tickets i have tickets right here okay and because once once you leave this area you cannot come back no matter what so if you want jackets blankets whatever make sure you grab them on the way out and pro tip if your steps retract make sure you turn them off so that when you close the door, they go back in. Last time, we didn't do that, and people had to step over them and yeah, get by. Yeah, and we actually thought a car was going to hit it before we could get them closed, so. It's got clearance, but not a lot of clearance. Man, that is close to the mirrors. They pack <laughs> yeah. us in like sardines. I'm not sure that this ferry is full, but when we came onto the rock, it was packed. So when you exit your vehicle, you're going to look for the purple tower. That's Great where job. the stairs are. Thank you so this much. Purple tower, you're on deck three. Thank purple you. Tower, deck three. Thank you. All right. Make sure you know what deck you're on because you will get lost trying to find your car. And everyone is super friendly and will help you get to where you need to go. You know, they do this all the time, so they're pros awesome. at it. All right, let's talk about all the nitty gritty details that you need to know before you make your ferry reservation. And it all comes down to time and money. All right, so let's start off by letting you know there are actually two ports <laughs> that you can 
hop on a ferry and sail to from Nova Scotia. And what, the first port is Port of Basque, yep. which is the one we sailed in and out of. And it takes about six to seven hours to get there. And the second one is Argentia, and it takes about 16 hours to get there. Right, both of those leaving out of North Sydney or Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Port of Basque is on the west side, and Argentia is on all the way on the east side of the rock, as they call it. <laughs> yeah. If you have pets traveling with you, Port of Basque might be your best option. However, there are a couple others to consider. The reason Phil is saying that is because pets will have to stay in your car during the whole entire ferry, and That's you will not be allowed to go down even to see your pet or you can rent a kennel and board your pet in the kennel you will be able to go to the kennel and take them out and walk them if you would like mm -hmm. your third option is to actually rent a cabin that is pet friendly they go quickly there are three options when it comes to cabin you can get one with two beds like we have you can get one with four beds, which really is a bunk so on either side. So you have a bunk that folds down, yep. And the last one is a full-size bed, and mm. that is the most expensive option. The kennel option also comes with a fee. Yeah, everything comes with a fee. The biggest decider on which port that you'll go to probably has the most to do with money. So let's talk <laughs> yeah. about what this ferry a round trip to Port of Basque cost us, and we'll break it all down for you. The round trip cost for us from North Sydney to Port of Basque and back was $1,066, but there were a lot of fees included in that. Yes, and there is a breakdown, so let's show you exactly what we paid for. So our cabin, which is a two-bed cabin, cost $53 each way. Well we worth it. We also paid a passenger fare of $35 each, each way. <laughs> um, let's see, our RV and tow car, which we had measured at 57 feet, cost us $347 each way. And they will measure you. We're also charged a passenger and vehicle surcharge and a final charge of a security fee. So the fees stack up. So when it comes to choosing which port to pull into, what you need to know is if you go to Argentia, it is a 16 hour ferry, overnight ferry, and it's twice as much. Yeah, so a cabin is highly recommended. Um, but again, it comes down to the price. When you're deciding on which ports, you can choose to enter on one side of Newfoundland and exit on the other. So if you wanted to come into Port of Basque, drive all the way around one and at St. John's, you could board the ferry there and come back. Now this would be an intermediate price because yeah. you would pay the cheaper fare of Port of Basque and the doubled fare at Argentia, but it's going to save you time because now you don't have to do that 800 mile route all the way back and waste, depending on what you're driving, one, two days of your vacation time to get back to catch the ferry. Like we did. If we had taken the ferry into Port of Basque and left out of Argentia, it wouldn't have been that much more. And we definitely would have made a different route as we yes. traveled through Newfoundland. Now, when you think about Newfoundland, remember it is a huge, huge province. So it is actually just under the size of California. So mm. imagine trying to visit California in two weeks or even we were there 21 days. And I can tell you 21 days is not enough time to leisurely yeah. explore everything you want to see here because there is beauty around every corner. They just call for everyone with vehicles to go back to your vehicle. So let's go down so we can get on out of the ferry. Let's do it. Phil had a nice nap and I must say, I think I did too. You did. You did. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. The feeling would chase. I'm wide awake. Take me away now. 